Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. I am super hyped to play this game in a video. So, I already took the liberty, liberty to um, preset, uh, preset up, I guess, um, our whole game setup. So, my name is, um, or my company name is McDonald's Games. And my player character, whatever you want to call it, its name is Ronald McDonald. So, yeah, we're going to hit continue. And anyway, Game Dev Tycoon is a tycoon game. Shocked, right? Okay, I'm going to pause this so I don't lose too much money. It's a tycoon game where you develop games, pretty much. So... Why did my accent just get weird? I don't... what the heck? Okay. Anyway, it's like where you develop games and you just live the 30 year life of a game developer who's starting a game developing company in their garage. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and make my first game and it is going to be called Truck Hunt. Now let's pick the topic military and action. We're going to do it on PC. 2D graphics and let's start. Okay, so my engine is somewhat important and story and quests are not important whatsoever. Gameplay is pretty important. Okay, let this do something. Cool. Okay, dialogues aren't important. Level design is pretty important. And artificial intelligence is pretty important. So, that looks about right. Yeah, I, I think that's right. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and say that seems about right. Artificial intelligence seems pretty important to me. But I don't know. I don't think dialogue was important. Uh, world design is... <sighs> hmm. It's not too important, but it's still important. Oops. Sound is pretty important, and uh, graphics is the most important. So anyway, that seems about good. Let's start our game. Hopefully we'll get something like all sixes, get a nice start, and let's patch our bugs. Because all sixes would be good considering we're already at 26k and we start with 700k, or 70k. Uh, new topic, new combo, great combo. So a 1.6 times multiplier. Multiplier. I said that weird. Okay, um, seems pretty good, I mean, yeah, okay, let's release, come on, reviews, yep, first reviews for our new release game, Truck Hunt came in, okie dokie, uh, sixes, seven, yes, military and action is a great combination, six, shows potential, you bet it shows potential, uh, five, funnest stages and six could have been more it could have been more but it was my first game ever and I don't have much for choice uh, on the news Ron McDonald's games a newcomer in the industry has just released their first game truck hunt the game received favor favorable reviews with such a good start McDonald's games are sure to gain fans quickly Cool. We're on the news. So, we had a pretty dang good start. I think that was like something like a 6.5 av- or, No, probably about a 6 average. Because I got 6s, a 7, and a 5. I think that averages to 6, but I can check. Made it in the charts in 93rd. Oh, okay. Last time, I made my first game and it didn't record. 
because it was stupid because I did the exact same stuff I made the game it did not record so I don't know what why uh, and you may hear me clicking my keyboard a lot even though nothing's happening on the screen that's because I am continuously making sure it is recording but I think it's fine anyway so yeah now that your game is on sale you will receive an income from the game every week you can see how well your game is doing by looking at the sales graph in the top right of the screen you bet I can so two points oh so successful that we now have fifteen fans hello fifteen fans that's about how many I have on my youtube channel hopefully this video will make those fans increase by like eight billion Good luck. Then I would be number one on YouTube. Easy, right? No. Okie dokie. I've made 6k in revenue so far. But I've made a lot more than that. I'm just considering from the beginning of the game. Shark Hunt has achieved... Uh, with over 10k units sold. This is an important milestone in the history of McDonald's games. Best name ever, am I right? I was gonna say favorite name, but then I decided to say best name because I don't have any other names. So, uh, yeah, I should have made my intro like, hello there everybody, my name is Ronald McDonald. But, that was a missed opportunity. Uh, industry news, recent market Recent market? What the heck is a market? Recent market duty studies. Okay, I can talk. Recent market studies suggest that the Govodor. Well, I don't know what to say. G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC studio or in the PC sector. I really can't talk. Consumers prefer the lower price, great, greater availability, and the flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say that this might sell the, or this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Okay, I had a really hard time saying that. Let's do some research. Research is an important research is important to unlock new options and make better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Yes, it will. Hint, try to develop games with different with different topics, I think of it. Try to develop games with different topic. Oh, different topic and genre combinations. Read the rest. Then you figure out. Uh, different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. Good to know! Uh, let's do a new topic, and I think we're gonna do a racing game next, and we're gonna call it Sonic Car. <laughs> I've been sick lately, so I literally die every few minutes. <coughs> Truck Hunt is now off the market. I'm dying here. Hold on. <coughs> okay. Uh, trunk Hunt. Trunk Hunt? Trunk Hut. I just said Trunk Hut. And I just smashed my keyboard into something. Truck Hunt is now off the market. It sold 11,580 units, generating 81,090 in sales. That's pretty good for a first game. Okay, let's check. Let's check, check our game history and see how much revenue we made. Uh, 50k, wow. Wow. That's, that's pretty good. For first game, 50k is good. Uh, we're doing some research. You've successfully researched racing. That's cool. Okay, so now we are going to develop a new game. It is going to be called Sonic Car... Uh, no, we'll make Sonic Car, and then we'll make the sequel called Sonic Car World Cup. Um, 
pick topic racing it is going to be a simulation that is going to be um, this has a higher market share but it cost more hmm but the thing is this is the second game but yeah this sounds good I'll go with the G64 for this it is going to be 2D graphics and we are starting our Sonic car simulation Okay, so this seems about right. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's fine. Same thing it's our truck hunt. I think it's fine for that. Um we don't care about dialogues. Level design is important. Uh that seems better. Level design seems pretty important cuz level design is um like the whole track and everything and you want creative levels uh... world design is should be a little bit higher um... sound is pretty important i mean i want some good sound to be in it you know and graphic is important but i think i'm gonna go with something like that maybe like ninety a hundred here ninety here and eighty here that seems fine Right. According to rumors, the Japanese company Ninvento. <laughs> oh my gosh, Ninvento. Okay, is planning to launch its very own home gaming console. Ninvento is known for the widely successful ar arcade. Game. <laughs> Ninvento is known for the widely successful arcade game Dinky King. Huh. Okay. I sh certainly hope this music is not copyrighted. I feel like my mic is too loud. Let me push it away from my face. I don't know. Is that better? I don't know. Many industry experts doubt that home gaming consoles will take off, but are eager to see what Nintendo will deliver. Just so you know, um... This channel is now working off of unedited content. Because, yeah, unedited content is good. Um, Sonic Car is done. So, let's finish this. And, a new record for our um, design, I think it was. Okay, level up on anything? Maybe? Um, Stuff is going high right now. Mm, Ronald McDonald almost leveled up. <coughs> yeah. You'll have to excuse me if I'm coughing through this video. <coughs> I'm truly sorry about that. Um, release game. Okay, let's see what the reviews are. That was not rehearsed. Uh, the first reviews for our newly released game, Sonic Car, came in. Uh, oh, oh, is that eight? Eight. That's very enjoyable. Thank you, Star Games. Eight. Love it. Thank you, Informed Gamer. Eight. We played it for days. Thank you, Game Hero. <laughs> and seven. Their focus on gameplay served the game very well. Thank you. That's that's nice. I, I I'm I'm doing pretty good for first few games. So we have does that say 16.1k? Oh, that's because we haven't made any money off of it. Contract work. Uh hi there, I've just finished Sonic Car and I'm impressed by your talent. I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. Oh, I'm tired. I'm really not. It's only like yeah, it's only 8:45. Uh, I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you have ever short on cash, just t just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you, Jason. Thank you, Jason, for letting me know that. Tutorial. Contracts have now been unlocked. To see available contracts, close this message and then click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. I think I know that. I mean, I have already created two games. It kind of takes bringing up the action menu. Wow. That is some high sales. 
Today, Nintendo has confirmed recent rumors and announced that their plans to release a new home gaming console called Look What This. Look like look lava. Look at this. The T E S. Sound like anything you know. If it doesn't sound like anything you know, you should just stop watching gaming YouTube and go do a little bit of research. Just look up NES. Look up NES console and yeah, okay. Then come back. Um, early next year, the console features cartridge-based games and a uniquely designed controller. Yeah, uniquely. Okay. Dang, my sales are going through the roof right now. I'm gonna hit a sales record, aren't I? I bet I am. This is some high sales. I'm definitely hitting a sales record. To Ronald McDonald from Patrick and Daniel Klug. Greenheart Games. Hi, Ronald McDonald. We are the creators of Game Dev Tycoon and would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Game Dev Tycoon is our very first game. Wow, that's impressive. First game. First game, super popular, really good. That's impressive. Good job, Greenheart Games. Um, and your thank you message is adorable. <laughs> With your purchase and your support on with your purchase you support our little startup and this will hopefully make sure that we can bring you more games in the future. Please do. Okay. Um seriously, you rock. Thank you very much and have fun with and have much fun with Game Dev Tycoon. You bet I will. This game's amazing. Patrick and Daniel Club, Greenheart Games, www.greenheartgames.com. Okay. Well, that's sweet. Okay, anyway. um, Oh, Sonic Car is breaking some records, I think. Seriously, my sales were higher than this? On this? Um, units sold 15.5k. Yeah, I'm at 15.7k right now, so. Oh, yeah, right, I have to get to 50k. Portal. Tell me, sales record. Okay, let's start working on our next game. Uh, let's do a little bit of research on some more topics. I'm. I think we might do a. Let me think about this. A fantasy? No, maybe not fantasy. I want to do an RPG game. Will be good roleplay. Eh. Let's go with fantasy anyway. I might do an action fantasy game, maybe. Uh, Sonic Car is now off the market. It sold 16,739 units, generating 117,201 in sales. Wow, I have 109k. Uh, that's pretty good. Um, hold on, doing something in the background. Um, Okay, so we are going to start up on our next. You know what? Let me go look up what the. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and look up what fantasy goes along well with. Um, RPG fantasy. Wow. Um, one of the best combos is RPG fantasy. That is really good to know, actually. So, oh, I accidentally had game history my menu popped up so I can do my research. Shoot! I was hoping research would just kind of happen in the background while I was looking that up. Dang. Okay, research complete. You've successfully researched a new topic, fantasy. Sweet, now I'm gonna make fantasy RPG. What should I call it? Huh. What are fantasy game names? Let me, let me, fan, cause in case you haven't noticed, I mean, Sonic the Hedgehog and Duck Hunt. Fantasy games. Fantasy games. Um, let, let's find some fantasy games on Steam. I mean, you can't see anything I'm doing. <sighs> Uh, 
Uh, top sellers. There we go. Uh, Warhammer. We got Warhammer. I mean, I, I know about Warhammer. Total War Warhammer. Oh, I got. Um. Let's develop a new game. We are going to call it Title Floor Floor Hammer. Er, okay. We're just gonna call it Floor Slammer. Okay. It's going to be a fantasy RPG game and. Let's put it in the. G64, considering our last game, did really well. Next, let's do some 2D graphics again. And for fantasy games... Hmm... Now, let's think about this, though. How... What, what, what would the, be, like, the best... Sliders for RPG? I mean, story is definitely important, so maybe... Engine, none. Gameplay 80 and story 100, maybe? That sounds pretty good. Um, for the next one, probably, um, I don't know, let's wait till it pops up at least so we can think about it. The, oh, the TES has been released. Sweet. Love the TES. Um, oh, there we go. So, uh, we probably want some dialogues, so we're prob- I think I'm just gonna put dialogues at 100, because we're gonna want some dialogues. Artificial intelligence is not important whatsoever, but level design is pretty important, let's say 80, maybe, and this is obviously gonna be zero, because who needs artificial intelligence in a RPG game? A roleplay game? Uh... Logan, if you are watching this, uh, you were right. It is uh, roleplay. Okay. Anyway, um, I'm just talking to my friend. He was he was right about something. Uh, world design, maybe a hundred. That sounds about right. Uh huh. And graphics, probably eighty. And sound zero. Okay. Let's see what we can make happen. Hi, I'm blah blah blah, Richards. Ooh, we're gonna get some hype. I'm Carolyn Richards from the local news. I've heard rumors that you are already... <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I've heard rumors that you are already working on your next game, and I have... And, oh, and would love to do an interview about this. Did... Do you have some time? Sure. I guess I got time. Great. Thanks for your time. Your interview should be published soon. That's good to know. Okay, let's patch our final bugs. Oh, we're already on the news. McDonald's game, a local startup, has is trying to make a make it big in the gaming industry. The company has already published two games and is working hard on their next. Yes, we are. Actually, we're just finished. In an interview with founder Ronald McDonald, said that the next game is going to be a fantasy RPG game, something this company has not done before. It is great to see small local companies entering exciting new industries. All the best of luck to McDonald's games. Hey, look, I can talk again. Ooh, 11 hype. Developing a. God, just killed a bug. Developing a great game is not the only recipe for success, it is essential to build hype to ensure that you have players excited about your new game. In the beginning of your career, hype is mostly generated through random events, but when you gain more experience, you can use marketing and other strategies to generate hype. So we're going to release this game as fast as we can before our hype goes down. Experience gain, a new record in design, I think it was. Um, leveled up in engine, leveled up in gameplay, Leveled up in level design, artificial intelligence, world design, graphics, and we leveled up Ronald McDonald. Oh, wow. Okay, that is, um, seven. My best is eight level ups and one. Oh my gosh, but that was super close. That was seven level ups for, I, our, 
third game, I think it was. Anyway, we got Floor Slammer. Released and let's uh game reviews, perfect. The first reviews for our new release game, Floor Slammer came in. Reviews. Um a uh, solid seven. Enjoyable. Thank you, Star Games. It I hope it's enjoyable. Good game, seven. Informed gamer said it was a good game. Very good, said Game Hero with eight. Um beautiful said our all said all games with a seven. Thank you guys. This is amazing. Popular business already. So I have uh, 50k and I haven't even made profits from Floor Slammer yet. Uh, I have 97k in the first week. That's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna make um, Duper Oreo um, Moe's next. Which is a um, military uh, RPG? I don't know what it's gonna be. I might research a little bit to get my own game engine, maybe. I don't know, I'm gonna have to wait till I release Duper. Uh. Oreo Mouse. <coughs> to get enough research points. Okay. And Floor Slammer is off the market, generating 184k in sales. Wow. Um, so. Oh gosh. Sorry, I got my foot tangled in my <laughs> wires. Um so wow, that gives us two hundred and eleven K in sales. Our game history this is a seven point two five and a seven point seven five. So uh and our first game was a six, so I was right about that being a solid six. Um we made a hundred and thirty K from that we made 63k from that and 50k from that, so wow, this game really skyrocketed. Even though the ratings are actually lower than Sonic Car, Floor Slammer skyrocketed. So, that's interesting. Let's um, do some research on a new topic, and I think we might do sci fi. Sci fi sounds fun. Let's research sci fi, let our money go down. <laughs> because of our monthly costs for our garage. Research complete. You have successfully researched a new topic, sci-fi. Uh, I wish you could do some sort of sci-fi sci-fi fantasy. Oh, that would be cool. Um, okay. Anyway, let's develop a new game. Um, what should it be? It should definitely be a sci-fi. Hmm, what can- what should we- do a sci-fi with maybe sci-fi strategy. We could do a sci-fi action if you want, but um, think and do a sci-fi strategy game. You know what? A sci-fi adventure game sounds good. So. Let's go with adventure. Um, do we even have casual yet? No, we don't. Okay. And let's. Ooh, should we make a game on the TES? Yeah, I'm gonna go with the. Yeah, I'll go with the TES. What should I call this one? What is a sci fi adventure games? Okay, let's look up some sci fi adventure games. Oh, Bioshock, of course. Yeah, Bioshock sounds good. Bioshock sounds real good, doesn't it? I'm trying to... Sp space Pirates. <laughs> oh my gosh. I do... I'm, I'm not doing Space Pirates. Um, <sighs> Bioshock is really good. Let's think about what we can do. Um, bio Bach. Um, maybe? No? Okay. So, um, yeah, that sounds good. 
So we're it'll be sci-fi adventure game on the TES. Yeah, Biobach. Um, let's start development. So, um, we're doing an adventure game. So, let me uh, think about our sliders already. Uh, probably story will be the most important, and then dialogues and world design and graphic. Let's go with story. A hundred percent. Focus on story for the first one. And then dialogues. A hundred percent focus for dialogues. Uh, the recent release TES home console by Ninvento has proven to be a massive success or has proven to be a massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. As one customer says, I love games that come with that come with the TES and playing with the controller is so much more fun than on a keyboard. Sweet, we chose the right thing for Biobach. And then world design and graphics are the most important. Uh that looks good. Ah, oh, we chose the right thing, didn't we? Okay, let's um wait for our bugs to be patched and finish. So I think I'm gonna make one game oh whoa no. One bug got added while I was patching another bug. And I did not notice it until now. So I'm gonna level up some more stuff this time, clearly. Because I didn't level up everything last time. And I'll probably level up one more thing. Yep. And that's gonna be it for leveling up this time. So I've leveled up ten things. So I've leveled up everything in the span of two games created. Um, let's release the game. I'm gonna create one more game after this, I think. And then I'm going to end this episode and probably instantly record the next episode afterwards. You know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the episode after we make our profits and the game goes off the market here. And I'll do some research uh, in the meantime. Ooh, I'll make a new game console, too. Or, not a game console, but a... whatever. You know what I mean, right? Probably not an engine. Anyway, the first reviews for our newly released game, Biobach, came in. And seven. Good game. Star Games. And seven. Nice experience. Inform Gamer. Uh, and seven. Beautiful. Game Hero. And seven. Seven. Enjoyable. All games. Uh, so that's a solid seven. Which is not bad. I mean... It's not our least, clearly. Okay, let's see your first week of profits. I'm at 104k. And now I'm at 144k. 179k. This game is doing good. 191k and 204k. And it's now it's saying, don't forget to creating custom game engines. This will improve your games a lot. You can create your custom engine through the action menu once you've researched the game engine. That's what I was planning on doing right now. So thanks for letting me know, even though I was planning on it anyway. Because I got 50 research points. 58 to be exact. Industry report recent studies suggest that the increasing variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Here we go yawning again. It's 9.05 so I have been recording for eh, about 20 minutes. So, I don't know, 25 minute recording sounds good. Um, some platforms become more popular with younger gamers while others cater for more mature age groups. Okay. As more and more developers enter the market. Uh, we expect develop. Whoa, hiccups now. This is just tactic. We expect developers to focus their games on spe specific age groups, 
to really make an impact. New research available. Target audiences. Sweet. That's cool. I can already target audiences. I'm definitely going to be doing that soon. I think that might take 20 points. I think that's what it takes. And I should be doing sequels soon after that. Research complete. You have successfully re researched custom game engine. Now you can create your game, your own game engines to get started. Close this message and click anywhere to bring up the action menu. New research. New research is available. Uh, gamepad and steering wheel. So both of those things. Oh yeah, I made a um uh, a racing game already. Biobuck is now off the market. It sold 25,500 units, generating 178,000 in sales. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm at 217k. Let's go ahead and check our game history. Uh, Biobuck got a clear, a clean seven, and I profited 122k from that. Uh, I got 130k from Floor Slammer, but that's okay. Uh, Sonic Car, uh, was Sonic Car a racing game? Yeah, okay. I was making sure it wasn't like, I don't know, there was an, there's another one close to racing game. Close to racing. It's like similar to racing, but it's not racing. Uh, Profit, 63k, and our first game, Truck Hunt, got us 50k. So, so far I think we are doing pretty dang good. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and create a custom engine. And what should we call this engine, people? Um, we get the source engine. So, um, let's call this the horse, horse, horse engine. So it is a horse, horse that needs a lozenge. <coughs> ah, I'm coughing. Give somebody give that horse a lodging, a lot a lodging, a lozenge. So we're gonna go with uh, 2D graphics V2, um, mono sound, linear story, and save game. You know what? I don't think we can research that first. So let's create our first engine. Following the massive success of the TES console, there are new rumors circulating that Venna. Uh, I say Vena. Most people say Vena, but I say Vena because Sega uh, is who Vena is supposed to be, I think. Right, Vena. That Vena, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console of their own. Or on their own. Um, okay. Tutorial You are now creating your own custom game engine. Once the engine is finished, you'll be able to use it when creating new games. So the horse horse engine is being created. So once this is done, I think I'm probably gonna end off the end end off the engine. End off the episode. And done. 100k engine, invest over 100k in a new game engine. Uh, engine complete, your new engine, horse horse engine, is now complete. Alright, well, thank you guys for watching this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next episode of Game Dev Tycoon.